two, The Truth Comes Out. Episode two, The Root of a Significant Amount of Evil. Where do you wish to go? Poor Pico. She must be so frightened. We're coming for you. My, my. You truly are concerned for her, aren't you, your overlordship? Of course I am. Whenever I see that innocent child, I'm overcome with emotion. Oh? So does our little Marjoline evoke the same reaction? <laughs> Do you truly believe that I, Overlord Ivar, have fallen so low that a 10,000-plus-year-old hag can stir my heart? Well, my apologies for being a hag, you detestable pervert lord! Pervert? I believe there's been a dreadful misunderstanding. You see, I actually had a younger sister around Biko's age as well. Much like Biko, she was truly a lovable little girl. Oh, I see. So that's the reason you're so concerned about Biko. <laughs> Never would have guessed you had a sister, too. <laughs> so, why isn't she here with you? She died from illness. What? It happened hundreds of years ago. It's just, from the moment I first heard of Biko, she reminded me of my older sister. Because of that, I can't think of Biko as some stranger. So that's why. I don't know what to say. You need not say anything, Zed. Now, let us go save her. This world is crawling with enemies too, huh? Yeah, it just proves that Cerberus is definitely here somewhere. He called them failures in his quest to create a god of destruction. But just how many people did he experiment on? A staggering number of them from the look of it. I've no idea what his goal is, but he's completely obsessed. Zed, just who exactly is Cerberus? All I can say for certain is that he's no ordinary dog. Uh, he said something about being a super sage before he was a dog, but I thought he was just full of it. Did you just say super sage? Could he by any chance be visual? Visual? Do you mean super sage visual? No, that's impossible! That little mutt? Although, that would explain how he managed to create a god of destruction. The hell are you talking about? If you got something to share, then spit it out already! Super Sage Mijual is a renowned first-rate spellcaster. Everyone who practices magic has heard of him. As unbelievable as Super Reincarnation is, it all makes sense if he was the one behind it. If he is involved in all of this, then there's something I should confess. Long ago, I allowed Super Sage Mijual to conduct research on gods of destruction deep beneath my castle. Where 
Where do you wish to go? What? You're mixed up in this God of Destruction stuff too? Indeed. However, I, I never imagined it would ever come to this. Creating a God of Destruction is pure evil! Shame on you, Prism Overlord! Mishuel tempted me with the opportunity to fight a God of Destruction, so naturally... I mean, come on! Who wouldn't want to face the strongest God of Destruction? Ask any Overlord! Just imagine, a super crazy battle pew, 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 between the super awesome Ivar and the biggest, baddest God of Destruction! So, it actually does come back to this idiot. <laughs> Looks like execution's back on the table. But wait, I regret it! Once I learned that it required a sacrifice, I banished him before he could create one. Huh? Banished him? And you're sure that was before he made a god of destruction? Yes, and because of that, he indubitably bears a grudge against me. This must be his way of getting revenge. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to fight a god of destruction! Oh boy, oh boy! What is this? Hey, are you alright? My vassals, famed for their valiance, have been incapacitated. Just who is responsible for this? Hi, my. Hello, your overlordship. Welcome to my research facility. Mishuel, what happened here? Explain yourself! Well, I just happened to find some demons with sufficient magic power, so I used them in my experiments. What? How dare you experiment on my precious underlings! Oh, what an odd complaint. You wanted to fight a god of destruction, did you not? Not at the expense of sacrificing my vassals! You would put the well-being of your vassals ahead of your own ambitions? Are you sure you're an overlord? If you wish to see proof of my power, allow me to demonstrate! So, Super Sage, or whatever your title is, I'll show you what happens when you anger an Overlord! Oh, it appears the mighty Overlord Ivar isn't a complete idiot. Thanks to these generous facilities you've provided, it won't be much longer before my research bears fruit. I've already got my eye on a suitable subject. To show my appreciation, I'll allow you to fight it once it's done. Don't trifle with me! You'll pay a steep price for what you've done to my vassals! already reached its limits. It seems I've pushed myself too far. I'll allow you to keep that pitiful life of If you desire revenge, then sick a god of destruction on me. Or whatever that's much. I, Overlord Ivar, shall neither run nor hide. I will defeat anything you send my way. ha <laughs> And thus, Super Sage Mishuel left my castle. Afterward, he had Biko transplant his brain into a new body, since his old one was nigh unusable after our bout. Or, at the very least, that is the most likely explanation. Okay, so basically, it totally is your fault! Oh, how could this be? Forgive me, Pico!
follow me, please. So Overlord Ivar was involved in creating the God of Destruction. Who would have thought? You said it! Now the dark history between Prism Overlord and Prism Pup has been revealed. Just as I said, this is a revenge plot hatched entirely against me by Mishu. Everything from the creation of the God of Destruction up to this very moment has been a product of my mistakes. Zed, I'm truly, utterly sorry for dragging you and Pico into all of this. Not many are capable of openly admitting their faults. I'm quite impressed. It's all the more difficult should you be a king. This fellow may just be an upstanding overlord after all. <laughs> and here I thought overlords were the lowest pieces of trash out there, pushing around the little guys. Hmm? Did you say something? Nope. Just that you're an idiot. What? How dare you! Hey, we got company. Why don't you show us the true power of an overlord? <laughs> Very well. But don't blame me if it causes you to wet your pants. <laughs> I won't forgive anyone who dares to pick on little Biko. Overlord Punch! Overlord Kick! Now, Overlord Beam! My, someone's enjoying themselves. I'll make up for my mistakes if it kills me! An overlord afflicted with overwhelming guilt? He's a strange one, all right. Whatcha! Whatcha! Hey, I love a good fight too, but if you run out of steam, I'll leave you behind. <laughs> Your concern is unnecessary. The magic power of an overlord knows no bounds! Who said I was worried about you? By the way, Zed, what do you intend to do once all of this is over? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't know. In that case, why don't you come to my castle? Biko is also invited, of course. No way, you creep. You're just trying to get to Biko. N nonsense Believe me when I say that I have no ulterior motives. I merely wish to offer you a safe, luxurious life. It's the least I can do to make up for my mistakes. Someone as powerful as you would climb in rank almost instantly. In the future, you might even be the next overlord. How did a sap like you become an overlord? Anyway, not interested. I'm okay with just being a plain old zombie. <laughs>